and away we go. I think the first thing we have to do is... Oh, I was thinking left. So... Pull over to this side and make a right. how it changes the view. What am I supposed to do with that? Because I got close to a tree or something. Changes the view. I keep forgetting to stop. I keep forgetting to uh, change that y-axis thing on the on the toggle for the camera it seems to do the opposite the camera moves the opposite way of what the button is I believe there's one spot along this route where the rock are barely far enough apart for the truck come on come away from that rock so it um, I mean it's a fairly straight section road but it's gonna be a squeeze getting this thing through there going to be rubbing this is probably going to take us a freaking hour to get over there. I usually try and keep these videos down to just an hour The hour of video is boy, it's rocking. An hour of recording is 10 gigabytes, and with you know, with a decent internet connection, 10 gigabytes would take you. Maybe half hour, an hour to upload with my internet connection I don't stream this crap because of my slow internet connection I'm not even going to look behind me either it makes it through or I get stuck but it made it I don't think I've rode up on any guardrails yet or anything. Uh, but to unload, upload 10 to 15 gigabytes of MP4 to YouTube takes me um, probably 12 to 16 hours I usually put it on before I go to bed for the night and it'll still be running into the next afternoon or at least into the next morning depending how big it is I can't see very far ahead of me. Can I change this a little bit? That looks nicer. I 
I watched Monkey do this on, um, I don't remember if it was Alaska or Russia. He's played all the maps. He's got every last one of them opened up. Um, but I watched him do this on some shit that's a lot tighter than this. You know what? That would be our fuel stop. But we haven't used hardly anything. God, I hate to risk tipping the fucker over on that hill. I think I'm just gonna go and, um, If worst comes to worst and I end up running out of fuel, I can grab that tanker there. I can grab that tanker with the BM-17. I should just call it a roll. I can grab that tanker with the Royal. Or... I can grab the scout tanker I have a couple different options for bringing fuel to this did I am I off course oh shit you know what that wasn't motherfucker damn it that wasn't the turn for my fuel stop. That's the turn where I gotta go down the hill to stay on the right road, the correct road. I gotta turn my view around and try to back up to that without letting this thing keep rolling forward, getting further away. Try to see around it. Damn it. I was thinking that's my... Now I got it too much of a... I was thinking that's the turn I gotta make to go get fuel and this is actually the turn I gotta make to stay on the damn road I really don't want it to keep going that way, but I can't, I, you know, it's either, you know, go that way or pull up and correct. That's looking nicer. And bring it. You have to travel such a long distance to get the tractor. To change direction and follow along with the trailer. No, I didn't want to 
suddenly crank sideways exactly how far back do I gotta go I can't even tell in my Yeah, I'm not back far enough yet. It says 77 meters. And I'm right up against... I'm right up against it on that uh, driver's side. this way must be a rock okay okay start following it around See, I gotta, I gotta start turning it that way now. So it follows the corner. I was rounding a corner as I came down there. spot where I can go forward again. I th let me look at the map. I think this is the place where I'm supposed to make that hairpin turn. Yeah. The fuel ain't till Looking closer. Ah, oh, fuck me. This is the spot where I would go get fuel. What the hell is the other place I was thinking of? This is the fucking turn I was thinking of. This is the spot where I would go get fuel. And as long as I spent 15 minutes backing up to it, I might as well, you know, I burned all that fuel backing up to it down to half a tank now so I might as well go ahead must have burned 20 liters back it up to the damn turn, so I might as well go down and do it. That trailer just uh, rocks and rocks, man. And there's only a little high spot right down the center of the road, and then it dips off to either side.
You think they did that on purpose? Let me see if I can get... See, there's its... That's where it feels like it's doing it backwards. I move the joystick one way, the camera goes the opposite direction. I think it should. How far away from this can I be and get fuel? Could I go around the other side of that stump? Uh, I would end up running the truck over the... I'd end up running the trailer axles over the top of that stump. After all that, we're ready to go. Try not to bash into everything. I might have to move the other truck. Now go forward. 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 It seemed to have a problem with going forward there. I should try and take a look at uh, what's going on back here. If I can get the dang thing to move. And I'm probably going to have to pull that other truck forward. That beat the other flatbed forward. Because this is going to turn right into it. You know, I, I was going to try and swing wide enough, but I started going straight up that frickin' hill. Yeah. Even there, I'm starting to climb the hill, and then it, it brings the... Uh, It pulls the drive axles up off the ground. All-wheel drive, how about that? <sighs> Maybe a little more? I don't want it to... I want to get in the way of getting out getting past it up the road either. Okay. Park and brake. Take that off. Shut it down. Switch trucks. Stop engine. <sighs> Change truck. To the utter royal, the pain in my ass right now, the one that's being a pain in my ass right now, start it up, hit the headlights, see what we can do with it now, keep it way out here, head for the 
head for the excavator and then try and try and do the camera right well it's not the best but Ordinarily, I'd pull it down to bring the camera a little lower toward the trailer, but I think I gotta be, I think I gotta push it up to bring it down. Gotta move it very, very slowly, so it only goes a little bit. Definitely got to start steering to the right to make this corner around the tree, but then I got to get up out of the ditch too. And try and take this at just a nice easy angle come on baby do we gotta winch it up out of there? I think I'm going to have to winch it up out of there. I wonder if I could reach that pole over there. I put the extended winch on it. Reaching that pole on the right side would be nice. Will it do that? Fuck no, it must be just six inches out of range or something. So we'll try to go to this one. And what is a Y to pull? To pull the winch? Yeah, I gotta, act, gotta do that first. And then I can... Come on. Oh, release handbrake. Duh. It might pull better if I release the handbrake. I forgot that I put the handbrake on. To uh, keep it from losing ground, rolling backwards and losing the little ground I gained.
this boom mic picks up my breathing. I don't know how much of that comes through in, in the uh, video, but in the headphones, every time I exhale from my nose, I can hear it in the headphones. Stay to the right. Gotta stay to the right. To clear the trailer. Not that far to the right. Okay, we're good. If I move it closer to my mouth, it seems to pick up less air noise, but then it gets too loud, it over attenuates. It picks up too much uh, lip smacking and that kind of shit. Well, that was the first time I've actually hit something with it. To where it caused damage. Come on. I swung out for the corner, but now I need to bring it back. I think that was the rock in front of me. No. The trailer detached. Why the fuck did the trailer detach? It's not hitting anything. What the hell? Glitch. Oh, pull up. Well, if pulling ahead is going to run me on a rock, I'll back up. Come on, come ahead a little bit. I dare you. I knew it'd go half a frickin' mile. Let's try that. It seems to have bumped into the kingpin and then rolled forward again. Ordinarily it would lock into the kingpin, but maybe it maybe it hit the landing gear instead of the kingpin. Fuck, I don't know. Like I can tell from here, you know. Half 
had to move over a little bit, but it attached. Oops. Wanted to hit V, not. Now let's try and change my. See, I know I knew I was staying close to that side, so I, I wouldn't, uh, so I could make the turn. without hitting the other side but um, I was just swinging it around to miss the rock when it detached Camera position changed. I don't like it. No, I don't want to do that. I just want it to sit here for a second without moving while I carefully adjust this. See, I wanted it to go left, so I moved the joystick left, and then it moved to the right. I had to move it right to go left, so one of these days, I should make a note. To invert the y-axis on that. This is the turn that I thought I was backing up to. Glad we were able to push that tree over. I was trying to just slow it down there, and I bumped the horn. Okay, we're on that little windy coastal road leading up to the turn for the bridge. If we can keep it on the frickin' road. get more if the truck moved. Uh, I'm going to have to straighten it out. I'm going to have to go wider. Maybe even winch through it. No, no, 
now it's taking it. It's taking it okay now. I heard branches breaking. But should I've been hearing branches breaking all the way. Here's where we're gonna line up for the bridge. I saw a rogue monkey pulling a, a trailer that was uh, probably about the same width, but it was about four feet taller. And it was in Alaska, had to go under a pipeline, and it wouldn't fit under the pipeline. All I can do here is hope that the trailer axles are on the bridge. <laughs> you know, we're almost there. And then it's Miller time. can't have any anymore. Four artery bypass put an end to that. Now I don't know if we should go ahead and deliver this or bring the rest of the stuff first. I, I did the, well, we'll just try it and see. I did the uh, steel and it started to make a structure. But I think there's some wood planks and shit that gotta come out here too. I drove into the spot and it's not uh, maybe you gotta tell the game that I'm doing this job maybe I forgot to do that but it says not a drill up there in the corner so it should be tracking me Yeah. I already did the steel and the semi trailer is the only other thing. Well, in the oil rig, oil rig drill, but that's in Smithville. Maybe I gotta go get the drill and bring it here. The drill takes a semi, um, a, a full flatbed to haul the drill. So maybe we'll just leave this thing sit here if it doesn't want to let us up unload. Oh, that's my Paystar with its flatbed. Oh, the, that's what I delivered the steel in. 
and then just left it there. Well, fuck man, I'm here. And... Doesn't seem to want to let me get rid of it. So maybe I'll just hop in the other truck and go get the drill. Probably make that a separate episode because this one's already run long. But let me hop back in the truck and. Um, change the camera view and maybe there's a different spot I gotta pull into but this is where it was indicating I mean it says it says oil drill there and there's the spot it already there's the thing it already built it built that with the steel I delivered You know, it should give me cargo management or something. It's not giving me any... any means of disposing of the trailer, unloading it. So maybe I gotta bring the drill first. But you think you'd have to build the frame framework first. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I gotta be over there by that other piece of, by that other structure. Just leave it right here and go get the drill. Although I don't really care for how it's leaning. Stop. It, it, you know, it has to go. It, yeah, I got it in a good spot and it has to go that. Has to go that little bit more. Delivered to drilling site where the arrow is pointing down. This is where the arrow is pointing down. So I guess we'll go get the... I guess we'll go to Smithville Dam and see if we can find the... the drill... And then maybe after we've delivered the drill, we're still clearing up after the flood. The water dislodged our rigs and destroyed one of the drills. We need new parts and construction materials to get things moving again. What kind of construction materials do they need? I bet it's this missing machinery. drilling spare parts but that delivers to the factory not to the drill site and that's what 
I was trying to do out here. Could hop in that and go to Smithville, or uh, I got this thing here hooked up to that trailer. I could try to find those drill parts. You know, maybe I was thinking in the wrong area. Maybe it was around in here. Where's the factory? Okay. It was it was around in these mountains near the factory that the drill parts were. It was like along this road or right in here where those boxes of drill parts were. Now, the scout wouldn't give me a trailer to pull them with, but if I found them, I could um, at least know where they are, I guess. I could use the scout to run up here into the factory and just... drive through the box and see if it'll show me where they are. Neither one of my royals got a crane on it right now. No, I think this one does. Yeah, that royal's got a crane on it. Even if I had to go all the way around, I could get it over here. <laughs> okay. We're going to kill this thing right here. And we're gonna try I'm gonna try to do that spare parts thing before I go to Smithville. Or fuck, maybe they're in Smithville. Hell I don't know. kind of irritates me that I spent all this time getting this thing over here and now it doesn't seem to want to let me unload it. Normally the second your truck breaks the box it gives you the option to unload. Or gives you the <laughs> thumbs up for the job done or whatever. But this is where I'm going to call it on this one. Um, I'm just going to end it and start it right back up again. And
got them undecided, run to Smithville or try and find those drill parts that seem to be lost somewhere. They don't show up on the map where they should. I think I'll do more investigation into where those drill parts are supposed to be before I go wandering around looking for them. And I'll just uh, jump in the other royal and head for the drill bit in Smithville. And, it, it, you know, the whole map is going to be black. It hasn't been opened up. But I'm hoping it'll at least have a marker where I got to pick up the dang drill. And maybe I can find some fuel along the way. Or... I don't know. We'll see. But try that in the next one.